Ukraine to increase long-range strikes in Russia, UK. Ukrainian troops will be able to boost the effectiveness of their long-range attacks inside Russia as an influx of Western military aid aims to help Kyiv shape the war in much stronger ways, the head of the UK military, Tony Radakin, said in an interview with the Financial Times. Radakin acknowledged the somber atmosphere surrounding Ukraine's defense, conceding that the country is encountering a challenging struggle to fend off advancing Russian forces. However, the UK's chief of defense emphasized that such a bleak snapshot of the war overlooks longer-term trends that favor Kyiv. These trends encompass the recent influxes of military aid from the US and Europe, Ukraine's increasingly effective long-range attacks, and Moscow's complete failure to halt Kyiv's essential grain exports via the Black Sea. The danger with any snapshot is that it ignores where we are now and with where we will be in the next couple of years. Radakin told the Financial Times, adding people should stop fetting Russia and believing it somehow has got major advantages. In a notable advancement for Ukraine, Washington abandoned its hesitations regarding providing the country with long-range army tactical missile system missiles. These were secretly dispatched earlier this month, boasting a range of 300 kilometers. On April the 24th, US President Joe Biden announced he had signed the foreign aid bill, which includes almost $61 billion for Ukraine, into law, marking the final step of the legislative process. It gives vital support to America's partners so they can defend themselves from threats to their sovereignty, Biden said, adding he would order to send weapons to Kyiv shortly. As Ukraine gains more capabilities for the long-range fight, its ability to continue deep operations will increasingly become a feature of the war, Radakin said, adding they definitely have an effect. U.S. President Joe Biden on Wednesday signed into law an aid package that includes aid for Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan as well as a provision that would force social media site TikTok to be sold or be banned in the U.S. The signing of the assistance package comes after a long battle between Democrats and Republicans in Congress over the much-needed assistance to Ukraine. It's a good day for America, it's a good day for Europe and it's a good day for world peace. It's going to make America safer, it's going to make the world safer and it continues America's leadership in the world and everyone knows it," Biden said at White House event while announcing the signing of the package. We rose to the moment. We came together and we got it done. Now we need to move fast, and we are," he went on saying. The US president underscored that the bill also includes a surge of humanitarian relief for Palestinians in Gaza suffering as the Israel-Hamas war continues. He stressed that Israel must ensure the humanitarian aid for Palestinians in bill reaches Gaza without delay. Biden also signed the first tranche from about $61 billion military aid package allocated for Ukraine, according to US official. The shipment of the aid would begin in the next few hours. The aid is expected to include air defense capabilities, artillery rounds, armored vehicles and other weapons to boost Ukrainian forces amid intensified Russian attacks. Russia plans to deploy ballistic missiles on Finnish border, threat to Europe is growing. Russian media reports that the Kremlin plans to deploy ballistic missiles close to its border with Finland. It's the latest in a series of military and hybrid threats that Russia has made against the Nordic state since it joined NATO in April last year in the wake of Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. The Russian newspaper Izvestia reported that a new brigade will be deployed in the Karelia region bordering Finland equipped with an Iskander-M ballistic missile system. The Izvestia report quoted an ex-commander of Russia's Baltic fleet, Admiral Vladimir Valuev, who told the newspaper that the formation of a missile brigade is a very timely decision. This is an adequate response to Finland's accession to NATO. Despite the proximity to Finland, the potential deployment is not raising alarm bells in Helsinki, said security analyst Charlie Salonius Pasternak of the Finnish Institute of International Affairs. This is really not news, and of course, announcing a thing and then doing something about it are two very different things when it comes from Russia. So overall, we really haven't seen a lot other than rhetoric, he told VOA. 
Finland has warned that it is facing varied security and hybrid threats from Russia since it joined NATO. In the second half of 2023, following Finland's accession to the alliance, over 1,300 migrants from countries including Yemen, Syria and Somalia began to arrive at the Finnish-Russian border to try to claim asylum. Helsinki closed all crossing points along the frontier in November, accusing the Kremlin of weaponizing migration. They were reopened briefly, but swiftly closed again after another surge in migrant arrivals. The closure was extended indefinitely earlier this month. Finland wants the European Union to help in preventing any future migrant crisis. Finland is building a fence along part of the 1,340-kilometer border and increasing patrols. The government is debating legislation to block asylum seekers entering from Russia. Russia denies trying to create a migrant crisis on the Finnish border. Moscow has described Finland's accession to NATO as a historic mistake that would force it to take what it called countermeasures.